Hello everybody. I don't know how to turn this camera around, so can't see me as of yet. My wife wanted me to do some YouTube videos. We've seen a lot of people doing YouTube videos of foreigners here in the Philippines. So I figured I'd give it a shot. It's not off to a good start because I don't know how to turn this damn phone around. Or the camera around. Anyways, I figured I'd give it a first type of our house tour. And we've been in this house since 2017. Uh, when we bought the house, it was partially finished. The outside was much was done mostly, but the inside was not. So let's start off with the outside. As you can see, I got I have eight dogs actually. I got three here outside. There's two of them. These are actually from the same litter. They're eight months old. Their mom is a German Shepherd. Their dad was a Filipino dog. That's why they don't look alike. Oh, Diamond. This is Diamond. This is Nikita. Nikita has more of a German Shepherd look. <laughs> and obviously Diamond does. And here's the outside, pretty much. Can't see the whole house. When we bought it, it didn't have the fence yet. We put the fence in. It didn't have the overhead port. My wife had that put in. There's a dog cage. I don't keep my dogs in a cage. They roam the yard freely. But I do put them in a cage at night because I had two dogs poisoned last year at night. So now at night, I do put them in a the cage. We had cameras installed. I actually, this camera here actually caught the guy poisoning my dogs. So it wasn't a good enough viewing according to the police. So we had more cameras installed. This is a new one. I can get it. Yeah, there it is. Because the guy was actually right here. And he threw the food through the fence here. He's got chicken wire there now. And two of my dogs ate the poison and died. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, Brownie, she was the mother of one of the dogs. She didn't eat the poison. She's still around. That's where she likes to hang out top of the stairs going to the terrace. Now these stairs weren't here when we bought the house. Even this part of the terrace wasn't here when we bought the house. My wife had all that iron on. This here is our outdoor kitchen, or dirty kitchen they call it here. This wasn't here either. This was actually our side yard. This is our neighbor's house right here at this wall. <laughs> but she had all this put in. Right here. Excuse me. Don't worry, I'm not sick. Just got a scratch in the throat just now. Right, Diamond? Ears mixed up, kiddo. There we go. Now, they didn't get the size of a German Shepherd. Nikita's about 50 pounds. Diamond's about 40, 45 pounds. But they do get the bark. They sound just like they get the deep bark of a German Shepherd. Now, their grandma, the mother of their mother, was over here. It was across the street. She's, I think, seven years old, eight years old. Now let's go on the inside. Who is that? That's Ginger. She also has a sister, Jasmine, somewhere. Her ginger is a year and a half old. Her sister is only a year old. Like the same mom and dad, there's different litters. If here's Kilo, he's my Maltese, he's 11 years old, going to be 12 this November. I actually brought him here from the States. And there's Mocha. Mocha's my Dachshund. She's two years old. My wife got her as a Christmas gift. I had a Dachshund that actually was poisoned too. A Filipino dog. I think she has mixed Dachshund Chihuahua. And she ate a poisonous frog and died. The wife gave me, got her mocha here as a Christmas gift. Dachshunds are actually my favorite breed. I don't know why. They are. And here's Dude. Dude is Kilo's son. He's 10 years old. His mom is a Dachshund who we left in the States because she didn't pass the health exam because of her age. She was 10 years old at the time in 2016 when we moved here. So they wouldn't clear her to come here, so I actually gave her to my mother. So dude is actually 
half Dachshund, half Maltese. Right, Kilo Kilo? Jasmine's somewhere. But anyways, back to the tour. This is our living room. As you walk in. It's not big, but it's comfortable. That's where I hang out most of the time. I sit on this chair, or this love seat, and watch my TV. Over here is the dining area. Now, this used to not be here. This used to be a complete wall. There was an ex this was a bedroom before. I don't know if you can see, but you see the invention, the difference, the wall there. There used to be, you could probably tell the ceiling too, or maybe not. But though, well, there was a wall here, and the bedroom door was right here. Well, here. And this used to be the indoor kitchen. Well, my wife, we took the sink out, put a new countertop on it and this used to be our backyard which is now our indoor kitchen or my kitchen there we go see that you see the window to the bedroom which is now a pantry my wife had this pantry built in because like I said this used to be part of the the bedroom, but we have a pantry for here. That's why the window's still there. Or a maid's quarters, I guess is what it was called. Because it wasn't very big. You probably put a small single bed in here and a small plastic dresser they have here in the Philippines. Well, none of these cabinets were here. My wife had all these put in. Put in. Now we have a neighbor who's an artist who recycle, builds art stuff from recycling. Those are old wine bottles, which is really cool. I think one bottle's burned out. Two bottles burned we bought that off him because he sold his house. Here is the, I guess the hall, the bath, shower, full bath. Now this is the only bath with a hot water heater. Oh, there I am. See, this is the only bath with a hot water heater. And my wife had all these redone. I had all the tile done, replaced the sinks and the toilets and so forth. This is the master bedroom. It's not clean. I apologize. But there, my wife has a niece who owns a furniture company. Well, who built all the furniture for us here. I'm not a big fan of this red stain they have here in the Philippines. I wish it was more natural looking. But, you know, everybody has their personal taste. And then we have our own master bath, which we don't use because it don't have the hot water heater. We use the one in the living room there. But this is the bathroom here. My wife had all the tile done. We placed all this toilet paper, shower heads, and stuff. Except, I apologize for the mess. But that's our bathroom, which we all we do is brush our teeth and fix ourselves up here. What do you think, Kilo? We go upstairs. Excuse me, dude. Upstairs, there's three bedrooms and one bath. Turn on the light. Here's the bathroom upstairs. Now, we have a niece that's staying with us. This is her bathroom, basically. Same thing. Why I've had the shower heads replaced. Now we didn't replace the sink and the toilet here. Because we don't really but she did put the tile, had the tile put in the floor and stuff. Not a breath going upstairs. Now this is supposed to be a bedroom, but it was my office before, but now it's just uh where I keep my stuff so nobody messes with it. The desk was taken out. I had it painted. Got my retirement stuff there. I'm retired Navy. Bosun mate, obviously. Some nods, nods and stuff. I want to turn this into a, like a little gym now. So I got my little workout equipment outside because I don't really need to get in shape. Because I've gotten out of shape since I've retired. Or more out of shape. What are you doing, Ginger? Come on, Ginger, Ginger. This here is our daughter's room. This is where our daughter and our niece stay. Now our niece, she's staying with us. She's trying to get a job in the city. 
she speaks real good English, but she wants to get like a tele, you know, working at the phone centers type job. So we're letting her stay with us while she does all her paperwork and so forth. On Ginger. Now we didn't replace any of the tile here. This was the same stuff that was here when we bought the house. It's like a vinyl tile. One of them came up. Her daughter was playing with it, picking at it, and took it off. And of course, she's starting to do it on this one. Ginger. Hey, come on. Ginger. Ginger. Ginger, come on. Get out of there. Oh, she's being nosy. Now, this is our spare room. No, you're not staying here. Now, we live pretty much in the city. We're here in Iluilu. And we're probably 20 minutes from the airport. Another same thing. We're 15, 20 minutes from the actual main city. So we have a lot of relatives who who fly into Iluilu or fly out of Iluilu who contact, ask us, hey, can they stay the night here or so forth. So here's the room they stay in or anybody. It's like a guest room. Okay, all the rooms have air conditioning. This one has the window type. Now here's our terrace. Now here's where my wife did most of her work. Our terrace used to end right here. There used to be a wall here that went across. And this was our only terrace before. It's this little spot. Now my wife had all the roof put on. Same thing here. This is all now covered. This wasn't here before. This used to be all open. This used to be our yard. You can look down and you can stand right here and look down and see our yard. Well, she now has all this converted into a terrace. Now, our daughter, she has a tutor that comes twice a week. She stays out here, does her school work, or in the room, but either way. So there's a little desk out here. But they like coming out here because the kid and the tutor has Angeline playing, you know, dancing and he plays music and stuff. Like I said, she's only in, going into second grade. Now, here's where I do my workouts now, which is going to be changing. I want to put all this in uh, my room. i got my birds. i got two little birds in there somewhere. I like to hide. Where are you guys at? There's one. I think the other one's hiding inside. My nephew actually built this cage for me. Which is pretty cool. <clears throat> my fish tank. It's a 75, no, 200 gallon tank, I think. It used to be full of angelfish, but they killed each other. I'm down only two angelfish and an algae eater. He's a pretty big guy. He, during the daytime, he stays in this shell right here. What? Take a look at some food. But these are the only two angelfish. I had nine angelfish in this thing. The angelfish are pretty aggressive and they killed each other off. Now it's pretty messy up here, which I apologize. But my wife even has a storage closet for clothes that she don't wear. The light's downstairs, so I can't turn it on. But like I said, all this before was nothing. This was the back of our house. See, there's, I don't know, you can't see it, but there's the wall of our house. And my wife had all this added on, which is pretty cool. So, look at all this mess. My daughter was creative and built herself a store out of a box. See, the little prices there. A little chair in there. That's pretty funny. This used to be my office, and it's now out here. But no, this was all, like none of this was here before when we bought the house. We got this here because the dogs like to come up here. Where's Brownie? Hi, Brownie, Brownie, Brownie. Brownie's one of the strays, right? rescued. Not really a stray. She was uh, at my sister-in-law's house where my wife's province is and nobody took care of her because she technically wasn't my sister-in-law's dog. It said the mother was Brownie's mom was my sister-in-law's dog and the mother ate all the puppies. Pretty nasty. She even tried to eat Brownie and she gutted, ripped her guts open I guess but the maid was taking care of Brownie and she's the only one that survived. Hi, Diamond. Brownie is seven years old now. We got her back in 2017. She was born in 2015. So, so that's the house tour. Go back down.
downstairs. That's it. Let's see how this goes. Nobody's. Oh, you're waiting for me, huh? Dangerous waiting. Come on, Ginger, let's go downstairs. Ah! Ah! This is why I need to fix my gym. But we don't really have to go up the stairs that much because we have everything down here. We like so we get the bathroom down here. We stay down here. And that's why we bought this house. Because it could be a one level if we wanted to once we get older. So I'm 55 and my wife's 56. Hi, Diamond. So as we get older, we don't really plan on going.